Welcome back folks, my name is Last No Meal, and today we're going to talk about the latest Cyberpunk 2077 news, so let's get into it. First off, we had a Cyberpunk 2077 event on Tokyo Game Show, where they released some updated gameplay from the All Foods Factory, when we interact with the Maelstrom gang, so with Dum Dum and Royce, and also later showing what happens before we get into Brain Dance at Judy's place. Before that, we can see Evelyn Parker that probably got us to her in the first place after we initially talked to her from this screenshot in the bar. Not 100% sure, but it kinda seems to be the case. Overall, there are some movements here that people thought that um, wasn't done well, but um, I don't know, I thought that how Evelyn moved in this scene was actually very nice and um, kinda realistic. There are also significant updates with the new gameplay footage, and character models have more details on their clothing, and general vibe of the scene changed a bit. Along with that, they also released all the previous trailers like Postcard from Night City, the Guns trailer, Gangs from Night City and Lifepad trailers in the Japanese localization, also showcasing voice actors from their Japanese cast. I highly do recommend you check out all of those trailers again because they will also show you like how the voice actors there sound and honestly I will probably do a playthrough after the game comes out in Japanese because why not, I did it for The Witcher and I'm sure this one is gonna be good. In the event itself we had a chance to see a character render of Saburo Arasaka, this is how actually he will look like in the game in full body. And also it seems someone on reddit wrote that he only speaks Japanese in the game in every localization, I mean that is a very cool detail, the man is like what 150 years old and of course he does know English but he's just refusing to speak it. Now, of course, I cannot confirm that, so if there is someone in the chat who can, just tell me if it's actually gonna be the case or if it's not going to be the case. Besides that, they uncovered a new Johnny Silverhand figurine from Good Smile Company, which looks very nice when it comes to overall details and just the hand itself. Next up, we have another collab between CDPR and Super Groupies that is going to do an extensive lineup of items that also have that fashion spin to them, including the swatch, backpack, boots, uh, shirts, etc. Obviously, so far, these are concepts but um, that could change, but tell me what do you think about this, and generally, what do you think about these fashion items that are also inspired, you know, by the game itself. It's insane to see all of this merchandising for the game, but in Japan these things go quite well, they sell, and it makes sense to do it because it also promotes the game. Besides the boots, we also had Adidas doing a collab with the game featuring their new limited edition sneakers. I do believe this will be sold out fast, but um, tell me down below, what do you think about them? Do you like them? I don't know, I have my Slavic senses tingling on this, so if I am able to get him, I definitely will. And last but not the least, we have a CP2077 special box which has a lot of goodies from the game like a mug, keychain, I guess mouse pads, stickers, etc. And it comes in this really cool box. I will try to nab this, I am not sure if this is only for Japan or they do have international shipping. Um, I also don't know if this is actually available for like Europe or USA or somewhere else because these boxes and generally these things again go well only in Japan. But if I'm able to get this, I will do an unboxing on this channel so stay tuned. Overall, they are investing more and more it seems into the Japanese market. I mean besides them, China is I believe on the first place with pre-orders when you take in countries. Of course those numbers were not released yet, they will be after the game comes out, but in the past they said that they are very happy with pre-orders. Overall look, marketing only increases from here. In October expect a lot of stuff released by CDPR, uh, we are getting very close to release and with like what 55 days until November 19th, we will be going into Night City very soon. And that's it for this weekend video, tomorrow we have a new Cyberpunk 2077 community podcast, same time, on my channel, I will have a stream link shortly. 
Thank you for watching. Also, on Monday, I will have a new lore video for you. If you enjoyed this video and want to be the first to find out all the news and lore, click that like and subscribe button and join our growing community on Twitter and Discord. I also have a Patreon page. If you were looking for an extra way to support the channel, you can do it through there. And huge thanks to my current Patreon supporters. This is LKM signing out and uh, stay classy everyone. Bye bye.